brain cells separated by space. So for them to communicate with one another, they have to send chemical messengers across those spaces. They're called neurotransmitters, and you have lots of them, there's dozens of them. One of them is called dopamine. Dopamine does a lot of things, but one of its responsibilities is it keeps you happy. Out here, you've just had a touchdown, and you've just asked somebody out to the prom, and they've said yes, or something. You saw your father bought you a car, your mother and father bought you a car. Your dopamine's out here. But it's still within the normal range of what you can produce. And what does dopamine say? Well, dopamine is a very happy chemical. It says something that was immortalized in a song by James Brown, I feel good. What happens when you put an addictive drug in your body, like nicotine? Nicotine actually goes in and grabs onto this brain cell that's trying to talk. And it causes the brain cell to get very excited. And instead of releasing just three dopamines, it releases nine dopamines. So those dopamines go over here and they attack this brain cell. And they don't say, I feel good. They yell, I feel really good. Brains don't like yelling. Those little receptors, they don't like all that dopamine. So they grow earmuffs. Little earmuffs. So they muffle the sound of the dopamine. It can take you three months to six months to grow those earmuffs. It can take you 10 years to get rid of them after you've stopped using nicotine. That's why drug addiction is such a long-term change in your brain. You have altered the way those little ears are going to hear for decades. Because you've grown those earmuffs, the only way you can communicate is to have nicotine in your brain. So what happens when you don't have nicotine in your brain? You start to feel bad. And the only way you can feel good again is to put nicotine back up in your brain. You have changed the way your I feel good sits in your brain. And you can't feel good unless you have a drug in your body.